you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I'd like you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's all right. Get out of here. Hello and welcome to the Cecil Says uh, uh, um, Eclipse Spectacular. How are you all doing? Good, good. I'm going to sing a song for you right now because it's a special day. We're hyping the fuck out of an eclipse. No one gave a fuck about eclipse before, but now we care. So let's sing. <coughs> Turn it up. Every now I get a little bit lonely and you'll never come in round. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then I see the look in your eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I'm a little bit restless and I dream of something wild. Every now and then I get a little bit happy. Every now and then I get a little bit angry and I know I have to get out of Every now and then I get a little bit terrified, but then I keep it alive. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I fall apart. I need more than ever. I need more than ever. I'll be holding on forever. I'll be holding on forever. But you'll never be wrong. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I fall apart. I All of the time. 
sharing hi there uh is my mic out the mic is fucked up how's it now <laughs> i don't know if the <laughs> is the mic out yes or no can you hear me i'm not drunk already but i've already had a few i'm good okay i don't think the mic died i think it committed suicide Hello, everyone. What an exciting day. In in uh, two minutes, we're going to go see the eclipse. I'm going to send myself an invite. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go uh, and go onto my phone and go outside. This will be exciting. I don't know if this will work, but uh, hold on. You'll be able to hear me. I'll stop the cam. Oh, what an exciting day. Nobody gives a fuck about an eclipse. Nobody cared. Now the the internet hypes everything up. It's like George Floyd all over again. It's worse. Everything's blown out of proportion. Like my ass. Oh, hold on. Entering studio. Okay. Here I go. I'm sweating through this shirt, though. Hold on a second. I got to change my shirt. Singing took a lot out of me. Hold on. Here I go. Okay. This should uh, there should be an echo here. So let me mute this one. And. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Right, let me let me get the uh, let me get the buttons. Are you guys getting that echo? Oh, hold on. Can you uh? Oh Christ! All right, I'm going outside. I don't see any fucking. I'm walking around my neighborhood. I got a bottle of goddamn whiskey in my hand. I'm sweating like a pig for some reason. It's a thousand degrees in my house. All right, let's do it outside. I got a little. Uh, I got a little cardboard set up here because I'm watching a puppy. A, a little sh schnauzer box of dishes. Hi there. I call her Shotzi because she's a schnauzer and a dachshund. Guten Tag, Shotzi. That means my love in German. Hello, everybody. All right, so what time is this shit supposed to happen? Oh, God. Oh, like, at least get dark. Isn't it supposed to be going off now? 
chat. I'm trying to read comments here. Hold on. My new, oh, good to talk means good day, Shotzi. Shot, I thought Shotzi means uh, my love. Good to talk means my good day, Shotzi. What does Shotzi mean if it doesn't mean my love? Darling. Okay, same thing. Oh, I miss the cliff. Starting now, peak is at three. It's starting now. Let me see. Oh, 320. I started the stream way too early. I'm not going to make it a fucking hour. I don't have that much to say. She's love. You got a room for rent? No. No, I most certainly do not. Uh, hold on. Right, my house looks like a fucking shipping center. Right now. All right. <sighs> Let's get drunk. I'm only shipping stuff today. What's the worst that could happen? You might get an extra comic book or some vomit in your package. That's a freebie. Hello, everybody. Let me read the chat. Oh, this is a jip. I thought it was going to... Thanks, 7 to 9. So 3.20, I got an hour to kill. Maybe I'll go back downstairs. And... I'm supposed to be watching this pup. I hope that cardboard will keep the puppy from running away. Got cash gab. Uh, looking forward to it rotting my brain after work. Good. Uh, Steph says Cecil has an effect on people. Cat and choke out. How many Cecils is uh, too many Cecils? Hi. Uh, Three p.m. in New York. Day drinking is fatiguing. Yeah, I agree. Uh. Good pup pup. Now I'm watching a dog. I'm doing someone a favor. You know what? Maybe I'll do a coffee and an amaretto. Cecil is a Mandela effect. <laughs> Why is that dog walking funny? That dog's walking fine. Uh, quick, get the peanut butter. <laughs> Long Island starts at 2.12. Uh, I can't even locate the sun, so I'm not really good at this shit. There we go. Let's see what we're looking at here. There we go. Okay. That's the, that's the Long Island sound behind me. Um, I wonder if I can get rid of myself on the other screen. All right. My house is a wreck. It's, it's, it literally is a shipping center right now. Like all boxes, boxes. Anyway, there you go. You got a peek inside of uh, <laughs> Cecil's house. Oh, let me kill the camera. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll get some uh, some coffee. I'll, I'll have a little coffee with amaretto in it. That's nice. Let's do that. I can't be sober for a stream. Can you guys hear me fine? I, I, feel, I feel like I'm whispering for no reason. Uh, 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 chat. Coffee. I just made a fresh pot. Comment. You hear me? Okay, cool. All right. All right, coffee. Got a little amaretto. Throw a little that in there. Oh, I got to put that down. Hold on one second. A more. Let me go put some whiskey in there, too. Some milk. All right. All right. Uh, 
yeah, I'm going to go back downstairs. I didn't know. I thought this shit was happening like, I thought they had a schedule. There's no one you could call, right? Like God or something. Like, hold on. Let me go downstairs and kill this connection. Actually, I'm just going to leave and I'll be on the other one. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm changing my shirt. I sweat like a fucking hog. I'm back. Oh, my God. I think I was having performance anxiety from uh, John's in the shower. John, I sent you the link already. You're welcome. I hope you caught my song. It was beautiful. Uh, John, you could explain from a flat earther's point of view what they're doing, how they're doing this, uh, what's going on. Cecil, open those cheeks. Yeah. Who says they're close? Steph, Cecil about to block the sun with his ass. <laughs> See clips. The moon is a plot of the alt right MAGA. Uh, I agree. Cured my oh, oh really? My my music does have uh, you know magical properties, medicinal properties also. Uh, if it's hot, turn on the AC. The thing is, it's 64 degrees out. So this is why I know I'm back to being fat because I'm sweating in the 60s. The 60s is now hot weather for me. So I know fat Cecil is fucking making a, a return. And this coffee ain't going to fucking help no matter how much booze I put in it. Uh, turn a fan on. The only thing I got is a little mini heater. Turn around, bright eyes. Hello, hi, cursed uh, heart creations. I wanted to show you guys something, but now I forgot. <laughs> I was sweating back in the 1960s. No, back then I was skinny. I was dead in the 1960s, believe it or not. Not even alive. Uh, Cecil's in his 60s, confirmed. No, 50s, early 50s. But 52 is now the new 51, I heard recently. I heard that. Actually, um, oh, my God. Somebody sent a picture of Wilford Brimley. And uh, I know it's not Tuesday. It's, um, this is a, a clip spectacular because I bought into the hype. You know, uh, this is even though when you're a kid, a clip, listen, a clip happens all the fucking time. Oh, tippy, tippy tail, you're 52. Me too. I'm 52. 52 is the no 39. That's what I've been saying for years. Um, let's see. This uh, this picture here of fucking just how like we marvel over how how different people age nowadays. This is Paul Rudd and Wilford Brimley at 52. Each of them are 52 in this picture. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck people just ate like whiskey and cigarettes for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner back then. But uh, yeah, we I was with uh, Juju was in town. We ran into one of my buddies on the street. He was in his 60s. He looks fucking like he's in his 40s. Like people just look better. I think our lives are easier. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, maybe Paul Rudd had a little plastic surgery, but you know what I mean? Like, he didn't go bananas. 
and he is on the young, like he has a young, you know, but, but overall, I mean, how old is Brad Pitt? I mean, no, I wish I had a supercomputer that would tell me, hold on. He's got to be close to 60. I know he had plastic surgery too. How old is Brad Pitt? 60 years old. All right. He's 60. He looks fucking good. Uh, yeah, he got a little he got a facelift this year though. I saw, but he did a good one. <laughs> like he didn't go bananas. He like just kind of pulled his chin back. Uh, Alexa lies. I know. I, w- I was looking at all the guys like, like Archie Bunker during like All in the Family was <laughs> like forty five years old. I'm like, I don't think. Uh, I, I think I could live to be 70 and not look as old as a, a 50 year old, 48 year old Wilford Brimley in my, maybe in my seventies. Uh, thank you. I know John, um, but I appreciate hearing it anyway. Cecil, you look spectacular for your age. It's clean living. It's you get up whenever you want and then you drink coffee and put booze in it and uh, you know, get on the internet and sing. She still looks like Edith. Edith was 40 fucking two years old. 42 years old. Holy Christ. No, I'm working on that, uh, dumb mojo. I'm not going to be sober forever. Uh, look how good the... Bi- yeah, what's her name? Uh, Susanna Hoff from the Bangles is the same exact age as Madonna without this plastic surgery. Just don't go fucking bananas. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cecil 75. I I look good for 75, I'll say that, but I'm not 75. She looks like a grandma, not 42. I know, fucking Edith Bunker looks like <laughs> elderly. She was 42 when they were filming that show. Uh, yeah, I saw a Madonna interview from like just a few years ago before she did like where she she did this thing where she turned her face into a catcher's mitt with eyes it's just like this puffy like moon thing i don't know what she did like i don't know what the fuck she was doing and she was getting older looking with like slight plastic surgery here and there like minor shit you know whatever they do but just kind of like upkeep and she actually looked pretty good and then she went for like the whole enchilada, which is like, give me the catcher's mitt. I don't want a single fucking wrinkle. So what they do is blow your face up with fillers and you look like a fucking catcher's mitt. And she looks, she absolutely looks fucking retarded. When Susanna Hoffs, you know, it's got wrinkles, got the gray hair. She looking, whatever she's looking in. The, gorgeous. Courtney Cox got too much work done. Agreed. Like another one, like she would have been a good looking older lady, but she looks like a fucking, uh, uh, I don't know, plastic surgery nightmare. I was watching uh, True Detective with Juju and uh, Starlight is uh, is uh, Woody Harrelson's daughter in that. I don't know if anybody goes back and watches it. The daughter who's like double teaming two guys in the, in the back of her car and he beats the shit out of him. That's Starlight. Yeah, Elizabeth Hurley is another I, I would put Elizabeth Hurley in like the uh Paul Rudd situation. Like some people just are they got the genetics. I know they're both getting like this and that done, but you know, some people are, you don't have to do much. Uh yeah, Woody Harrelson's dad was a hitman. Yeah, that's true. He was uh he was given a death penalty, I believe. I have a relative here in New York whose father is one of the last people to get the death penalty <laughs> uh, through marriage. Through marriage, uh, Hurley's top tier. Her, her, Elizabeth Hurley to me might be one of like uh, you, you look at Elizabeth Hurley and like uh, Austin Powers and that little sci fi outfit with the little silver. I mean, flawless. I mean, that's as, that's as good as it gets. You know, thick legs, nice ass, big tits, flat stomach, absolutely drop dead gorgeous face. Every everything's perfect. So, um, yeah, she's she's just about as good as it gets. Might may be dazzled. Yeah, she'll great in that. 
she was she wasn't 45 in Austin Powers, but she was she wasn't a kid. You know, I think she was in her 30s. I'm pretty sure, right? She's in her no, no, that no, was Austin Powers, what the late late 90s? When the fuck was that? Everything COVID fucked me up. I don't know when the, I don't even know what fucking years it is now. Everything we just like had three years disappear. Cecil, are you planning on visiting Houston this summer? I'm I might go to to uh Matsuri if they get me a uh a room and uh, all that shit again. Uh I'll do it. It would be fun. Uh I think Camelot's gonna go. Uh I'll see who, who else is going. A bunch of people go. It's always fun. Like it's it's a that's a fun trip. Like everybody parties. I, I hung out with uh Critical Drinker last year. We fucking drank one day. Fucking all all like we were both in town. He came uh he had a flight lady leaving and we just fucking drank all that night. So that was that was kind of fun. Camelot was there. Uh I hung out a lot with Gary's wife, actually. She was fucking buying me drinks left and right. Um, but I, I like uh, I like um, yeah, Melissa. Uh, that was uh, that was a fun trip. Well, the last Houston trip was fun. I, and he, uh, Juju came with me. Uh, it's a Gundam should stream the clip. Yeah, he should. <laughs> Why not? I got to get back in touch with him. I, we used to be in touch on Twitter, and then he, but he only followed my old Twitter handle, and now I don't talk to him. Uh, my new Twitter handle is dickandcomics.com, which is my old Twitter handle. They released my old one that was like in jail for like years at the same time that they canceled Johnny Not Band, which was my latest one. So it's, you know. I keep uh, gaining and f- losing about five or six thousand followers. I don't know how many I have. What? How many do I have on? How many do I have? Uh, uh, I have seven thousand followers on on Dick and Comics. Uh, Dick and Comics at Dick and Comics on Twitter. Uh, check out <laughs> Elizabeth Hurley's son. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> do you have great tits or something? Why the fuck would I do that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, life is a circle. Time is a circle. A flat circle. Uh, You and Gundam should definitely team up. Um, Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get in touch with him. Uh, For some reason, he likes me. I know he's like a huge uh, stream, but for some reason, he kind of keeps an eye on me. So, uh, yeah, I think he'd be down for that. I'm going to start doing more streaming. I'm going to... This is my vow to you guys right now. Every eclipse, every eclipse, I will be, uh, I will be uh, streaming. Is the eclipse over now? I still see sunlight coming in the windows here. I'll wait till it starts getting dark out. We'll go outside. He's a huge YouTuber. He is. I think he's got like a million subs or somewhere close to it. But he's like, he's fun. He's he's a good guy. I, I I really enjoy his streams. I enjoy his streams so much that a lot of the times he's talking about shit I have no idea what the fuck he's even talking about or I have no interest in whatsoever, like e-thoughts and video, some video games that I don't give a fuck. But he's so entertaining. I actually watch shit about things I don't even care about. So that that that's a skill when you're that good that you're like... <laughs> for, for some reason, he likes me. That's Cecil's motto. Yeah, like I didn't really know him and he was doing Chrissy's show and he sent me a, a DM and was like, hey, do you want to come on with me? I'd feel better if you were there or like, <laughs> I was like, all right, I don't really know you, but okay. So uh, that's, uh, but he's he's a good guy. I like him. He's a little bit crazy, like neurotic. And I like that. Uh, he probably likes the old Cecil. How much fucking older do you want me to get, be? And watch the, watch the beginning of this stream. The old Cecil was there. Maybe I'll do a week. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do an entire stream as old Cecil every once in a while. Did you see Mandy and EVS's stream? Phil Diaz wanted Mandy kicked out of CG or something. Um, what? Uh, what? No, which stream was this? 
Oh, why does everybody I know have to be in a fucking fight? I like Mandy and Phil. What happened there now? Uh, okay. When did this happen? Old Cecil's been dead. Then Old Cecil's coming back. I'm getting fucking fat as fuck. It was... I was taking vitamins the other day, and uh, Juju. This is how I know Juju loves me. She's like, I was like, I, you know, I'm not. I'm, I go to the gym every day, but I'm just not losing weight because I eat like garbage. And she's like, oh, maybe it's the vitamins you're taking that's <laughs> causing you to gain weight. And I was like, taking these vitamins is literally the only healthy thing I do. And you're trying to blame that for my. I was like, I love you, you know, like it's it's not the fucking you know tray of brownies I ate fucking yesterday. <laughs> It's the vitamins. So, yeah. She's making she's making excuses for me like a fat person would need to make for themselves, but she's doing it for me, which is fantastic. Uh, I know. I'm taking like magnesium, potassium, B12. She's like, maybe these vitamins are causing you to gain weight. I'm like, yeah, I think that it might be the vitamins. Yeah. Fucking shoving chips in my face. Uh, <laughs> sickening. <laughs> totally making fucking the excuses for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the, the only healthy thing I put in my fucking mouth. She's blaming that maybe. Someone loves you. I don't know. I don't know, but she's she's faking it at pretty good if she if not. Uh, she's a feeder. I know she cooks. Oh my god. She spent two hours making homemade mayonnaise. Like. Boiling, uh, I mean, cooking the eggs uh, or whatever. No, no, it's raw eggs. Just whipping it for fucking hours. Two hours to make a jar of mayonnaise. She's like, I don't like the mayonnaise. You just got soy and some other shit in it. and You should have fresh mayonnaise. So she made me an entire jar of mayonnaise. Sat there. Yeah. So I'm like, now I have to eat. <laughs> now I have to up my mayonnaise in my diet. Because fresh mayonnaise only lasts like three weeks. Uh, you're not going to fit your prom tux. I know. Also, she, she wants it to do for Halloween this year. She wants me to rent a tux and, uh, you know, keep my bald head and she's going to get a, a, a little orphan Annie dress and we're going to go as daddy Warbucks and Annie. So I said, all right. <laughs> So uh, that that is going to be a Halloween costume. If she took two hours to make, no, it's because th nobody. She she's like meticulous. She even with the like emulsifier, like the uh, the hand blender, she just kept fucking. She made a jar like this big, but she just she would get the engine so hot on the thing it would have to stop. It wasn't that she was spent two hours continuously. Uh, Cecil's 10 minute mayonnaise. I think you're giving me eight and eight minutes extra there. Uh, Cecil is going to be Annie, Daddy Gay Cox, Fat James Bond. I had a friend named Robert Bond in high school, and uh, I was like, How could your father not hook you up with the ultimate pickup line of a girl asking you your name and saying Bond, James Bond? But I don't know. Uh, Cecil doesn't like the chunks. Okay, chunks. Okay, good. Uh, wasabi mayo. Uh, Cecil, you should message it together and ask him to come on Wednesday night with Cecil and the Jack Show. Uh, I think he's been on a Jack Show. I can't remember. It's been a while. I'll get him. He's starting to stream. I'll I'll probably have a better chance getting on one of his streams because he's kind of like squirrely about like being locked down into something. It makes him nervous. But I think on his own stream, I, I could go on there. Uh, Cecil Juju cooking streams would be great. She's she's a good cook, man. She made like she's why <laughs> she's blaming the vitamins. Meanwhile, she made. A pot of fucking meatballs, sausage. She makes her own sauce. Made, oh my God. She made so much fucking food. It was like enough for like two weeks of food. I still have meatballs frozen upstairs. I can't stand his accent. Who, mine? Uh, 
Gundam was on the Jack show, one of the best, including Donovan. Yeah, that was, I think that was just um, a regular, that might have been a Tuesday night show, one of my first Tuesday night shows. It was Donovan, Anna, and and uh, Gundam. Yeah. Um, that was that was fun. And then everybody screamed at me for talking over Donovan, and I felt so fucking bad. I, I was thinking about him just the other day. I, got, I really miss him. Yeah. I really do miss him. Uh, I know we were gonna go uh, go to uh, to juggle the gathering of the juggalos this year with him. He was the best sport, man. Like he was such a good, but he would like send me messages afterwards and be like, "Yo, this is my favorite show to be on. I have the best time with you guys. You guys like break my balls and like, I don't know. He really, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. What? I didn't talk over Donovan. I did. I talked over him." <laughs> But he 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 was he was funny. I do. I was thinking about him just the other day. Uh, read the mods messages. Mods messages. Hold on. Let me read some. Uh, let me read some super chat. Juice Cannon, aka a, aka Johnny Weary Sex, gifted one Cecil membership. Thank you. I think I went to Slick Rick. So Slick Rick, welcome aboard. Uh. New member is Johnny Juice Cannon. So wait, Johnny Juice Cannon became a new member and gifted a member. Well, that's cool. Johnny Juice Cannon, a.k.a. Johnny Weary Sex, says, Smello Comics Gate. Uh, SHS, SHS Rebels 08 says, Cecil, stop being such a fucking, uh, I'm thinking he meant fucking fag. Uh, Juice Cannon gifted one Cecil Says membership. Thank you. Uh, Headrock says, you know those sunglasses won't protect you. Yeah, that's all I'm wearing. I've tried to do things on. I bought these fuckers, and I can't see a thing. It's like black. It's completely black. I'm not wearing that. I bought these at 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, North American Eclipse. Uh, they'll these sunglasses will protect me, and I know if anything, I'll just I'll just you know, I'll 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 do it a double sunglasses. That'll be fine. Headrock, this isn't spectacular. It's fabulous. Minor Zircon says, "Que pasa, Cecil? Como esta Juju? Juju's at work." 200 Watt Studio, thank you by the way for the two dollars. My are gone. 200 Watt Studio says Nicole Kidman, Kate Jackson, Angela Lansbury. Which one would I fuck? Lansbury, better story. Uh, Ricky Silly Swoofs. I was sniffing too much nail polish and made an animation about you and Cash Grab. If you think it's funny, feel free to use it to promote your book. Yo, send it to me. Send me a link to it on on Twitter. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I appreciate that. Uh, Juice Cannon, aka Weary Sex, says, "What's this about Phil Diaz?" I don't know. I just uh, I'm literally hearing it just now. Uh, Ozhead says, "Hail the Diaz brothers. They are still cool." Yeah, I have no problem with them, but uh, I'll I'll hear about this. What when did this happen on Ethan's show? Though I guess his last show. I I, w I wasn't listening this weekend really. Uh, David L. Or I kind of go in and out. Uh, I think I sent. If he's got Shane on there, I'll just send this thing to Shane to break his balls. But I, I really, if like uh, Juju's over or I'm out doing something, I can't really watch. Uh, David L. Says just got the Rini cover today. Thanks for tearing the bag to sign it instead of signing before bagging. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, is the bet yet? Yeah. I'm really pissed, John. Maybe you know about this. What? When you order <clears throat> silver silver bags and silver boards, mm -hmm. the silver bags are seven and one eighth, and the boards are seven inches. A lot of times, the fucking they don't fit. The boards and the bags do not fit. They're not they're not precise, and uh, it's the same I, company that makes. Yeah, it. I'd have to check what I what I order. I'm not sure what are the bags and boards. I know that my boards are kind of long. Uh, to where I end up having, because I buy the uh, resealable bags, you know, or the, yeah. the, where you pull the strip off. 
uh, a lot of times I can't get that to even, uh, you know, line up. You so, know what it is? You, you're, you're probably buying, which is what I was about to do, but now you're just focused. You know, now you're just telling me the new problem because I buy the resealable bags. So you're buying probably modern bags, which are thinner, and modern boards and using silver bags. So everything goes in nice uh-huh. and neat, nice and neat, but then it's too tall and you can't turn the flap. Well, if you buy silver bags and silver boards, fucking... I, I have a paper cutter. I'm cutting the boards down. The boards don't fit into the fucking bags. It's fucking, and it's the same company. So it's, sell, you know, it's selling silver boards. It's like, you think they would be more precise about it? What, every once in a while, they'll send a, a batch of the boards that fit perfectly. And then there'll be like 500 that just don't fit at all. And the bags get ripped. <clears throat> yeah. Really I, fucking I'm, annoying. I'm going to try to log into my account and see what I have. You're probably but, using like modern modern boards and silver bag, which is quick to put them in, but then the flap won't close. Um, uh, SHS Rebels 08 says, Cecil loves to eat sausage. Fag. I do love to eat sausage. And fucking if you don't, you're a fucking liar. Who doesn't like sausage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Evil One for $10 says, I watch, but never in your chat because of my arm, but wanted to let you know phil is my friend and some of these drama tards like to fabricate things for bits of youtube bits on youtube for content it's only really about ptp oh hmm. uh someone said uh, something there's a beef between mandy and phil now um okay um, i don't know you, did you hear we, we, did you watch ethan stream with them or something i don't know when was it i think they said yesterday uh uh-uh. no i haven't and seen it I don't either. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ordering silver backing boards and golden comic. Ah, I, that's what I was about to do. I was about to just buy gold board about ba- um because I have so many silver bags. If you have mm-hmm. silver, that it goes in nice, but then yeah, the flap is so you you get fucked either way. I think I'm gonna just keep the silver bags. If and use- if I put one book in, I'm uh, usually pretty good, but when it's uh, multiple books, I, we have to use tape. So, I see. Yeah, I'm. 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 When is the eclipse? Uh, are you Are you going to pull it up so we can watch it inside, or what? No, I'm going to go outside in a few minutes. But no, uh, are you going to hold your camera up so we can see it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, we'll just watch it get dark around me, right? I mean, wait. Can you point that at the sun? You can't point that at the sun. I can do whatever the fuck I want, man. <laughs> Yeah, the boss of me, Johnny. Yeah, right. Uh, let me see. Let me see if somebody's somebody must have it on YouTube, probably right. Eclipse Live. Let's see where it's at. I'll I'll go outside when it starts. Hmm. Oh, is it going to get dark in Michigan? Someone in chat said. Is yeah, it it'll get dark, dark there. Huh. It's just that the sun itself won't be completely blotted out, but it'll get dark. It might have already happened here. I don't know. No, no, it didn't happen there. Uh, hold on, Michigan Eclipse. Michigan Eclipse. This is bullshit. What time does it happen in Michigan? Your zip code here. All right, here we go. Showing that it's already happening. Is it happening right now? Hmm. You sound terrible, Cecil. Yeah. Well, how about now? Uh, yeah, you sound good. I just, uh, no, I just hit. I just hit. Is three thirteen p.m. It says. Okay, so I'll go outside. For, for me, for me, I don't know about for you. I went to the site that you type in your zip code. Can you put in one one five four seven for me? One one five four seven. Let's see if it comes up. Three twenty six p.m. peak. Okay, we got a little time. All right, glad we got that figured out. I started early. I started with a beautiful song. Did you were able to catch that? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I am Eastern Froth. Frothy. Yeah, those are Eastern times. 
What was oh, the wait. song? You did a song or? Yeah, Total Eclipse of the Heart, naturally. Oh. Uh, wait, you sang it? it? Yeah, I sang it. I killed it, too. I mean, literally killed it. Nice. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Evil one for two dollars says Eclipse is a psyop. You have been warned. Now, John, how does a uh, flat earthers explain this? Is this, is this just mm -hmm. uh, them putting, uh, just blotting something out on the uh, on the? Um, it's dome? just the dome. It's all up on the dome. I mean, the moon it's like is a little flat. fun. It's a little fun for us, uh, us prisoners in this dome. The, yeah. us, uh, we're in a zoo, and they're like, "Yeah, let's give the zoo animals a little fun thing every once in a while." Yeah. Okay, that makes. Well, sense. the moon's on its own layer on the dome, and the uh, the illumination, or what people refer to as the sun, is on its uh, own upper layer of the dome. So it does go in front of the uh, flat moon. Two hundred watt studio for five dollars says Phil and PTP had a secret meeting during the time around Tampa saying Mandy was a problem. According to Mandy and EVS last night on Mandy on Mandy Street. Oh. Okay. Uh, it wasn't on Ethan's. Okay. Mm. Look, man, you know, everyone shit talks to each other. You know, Kevin Chokot says but this is pathetic. <laughs> you know what? It sounds like you're jealous because you're in Europe where there's no fucking eclipse today, and what this is called eclipse envy right now. Yeah, you're not you're not the chosen people, Chokot. Yeah. We beat Whatever. you in the war, and now we're God's favorite. Yeah. It's already night by you. That's how much God hates you. Yeah. Live in darkness. <laughs> Ricky Silly Spoof says, I, it didn't let me DM, but I commented the link on X. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll, I'll look for you on, on X. Did you, did you at me? Just at at Dick and Comics. All right, he made a he made a. Uh, maybe we'll watch it right now. He made a cartoon for. Of cash grab, he said. Uh, Gaz says uh, more faggotry from grown men. Uh, what's in the water over there in the USA? Wait, us? <laughs> what did we do? Oh, uh, I guess Cecil did uh, sing "Total Eclipse of the Heart." It's nothing gay about that. It's about a guy, a girl. <laughs> Wait, is that you? Are you the rat? I don't know. I've never seen this. Hey, Eric, want to play with my Transformer doll? You are a whole ass nigga. What? what? Is that Mandy? This is nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, I think you got to cut these down. Nine minutes is a, that's, that's a commitment. Uh, you will run with me riding, Ricky. What? I'm perfectly sober. This is only my 12th bottle. It's only with me red bottle. Wait, David L., is the book ripped? I'll send you another one. Is that true? Is is the book actually ripped or just the bag? If the book is ripped, let me know. I'll, I'll send you another one. Hmm. I have people uh, rip off the covers for replacements. Hmm. You know, it's like, do you really back. want to replace me? Get you rip off that cover. Oh, you think they're scamming you? Well, you know, because then you get two and you sell one as damage. You know, like... If you really want that pristine one, rip that cover off. Oh, that's what that's what the uh, that's what the uh, big uh, DC and Marvel used to do to for uh, for like um, newsstands. You, yeah, you had to rip the cover off, and just re you if you return the cover, they give you the refund. So you, you are you in this cartoon other than being behind the bush? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Because I don't know what these, what the mouse and the dog oh. is a reference to. Now oh, here's the thing: there. he took from an actual cartoon that was made by Scotty Richard. <laughs> he took the Cecil from that. Fix yeah. today. <laughs> That's the Scotty Richard uh, Cecil. 
Right, right. Look how you walk. Look how that cop walks. What the hell? Oh, that was Scooby? Ow, I think I broke my back. You... <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing the Jack show tomorrow night or Tuesday Thursday. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, I, I feel know, like it'll be better when we're drunk. I'm I, I'm I'm slightly drunk, but yeah. Uh, what state are I am? I'm in, uh, unfortunately in the state of sobriety. Hmm. Oh, there's Mandy. Maybe Mandy can give us the uh, dirt. Mandy, you want to come in here and talk gossip? Give us the dirt. Give us give us what's going on. Phil, if you're out there, you're also invited. It's an eclipse. We can have a, a sit down. It's a, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to. Uh... John, Will can that you say... open up like a cosmic black hole if we do that? Or... Is CERN operating today? I hope so. I heard something about they're firing rockets at the moon. So CERN or some kind of particle shit could be tested. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what's real, what's what's not real. Can you send uh, Mandy the uh, the link? Yeah. I guess I can. Send Phil the link. You know, I'm not doing anything. I'm living my life. The only thing is, once I go outside, I can't. I'll be your errand boy. Mandy. You're an errand boy. Sent to collect the bill for grocers. You know what? You know what movie that's from? Are you a soldier? Are you an assassin? Um, no, what is that from? You're neither. You're an errand boy. Sent to collect the bill for grocers. It's uh, Apocalypse Now. That's Colonel Kurtz. Talking over. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Mandy. And then what? You want uh, Diaz in here? Bill Diaz. Phil Pops. We'll see. All right, maybe we'll get some. They don't get grosser than Cecil. How dare you? Pickle tits now? Richie Dupe, you radish. Oh, uh, Bob uh, with bug, bug with when I asked to get a Ed Piss score on too. And do it. Ed Link, all right. So. He wouldn't have come on even if he was able to. <laughs> <laughs> this is pathetic. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, David L., it's only ripped where you signed it. All right. You already read that one. Yeah, I know. Okay, calm down. Play Cecil in the museum cartoon for the new kids. Oh, that's a, is that a uh, that's a Scotty Richard one. I'll watch a little bit more of this. See if it goes. You better get used to it. Your back's always gonna feel that way where you're going. Just wait 15 minutes into your re recreation time, or the mess hall, or the showers, or the cell. If you were 16 or younger, I'd let you off easy. But since you're clearly an adult, you will be tried as such. Even if I'm retarded. Especially if you're retired. Why is your audio so terrible? Well, good thing I'm only 15 then. 15? That's impossible. But I listen to the Backstreet Boys on my Walkman. Wow. You know all these hip new things. I guess you must be a 15-year-old. Well, son, I don't want you going down the wrong path. Do you have a father who can come and pick you up? No. Nope. Oh, just my he said sister skip the 440. The I see, I see. You need a good, upstanding citizen. So, nothing like the mutually received. Oh, is that Juju? So then, it's about what I receive. I'm trying to be poetic, okay? This is nothing like the movie I saw about the social worker in the inner city. Man, this job sucks. None of the kids like me, except for the teenage boys, and that creeps me out. Just get him out of here. So, you hungry? Uh, no. What do kids like anyway? I don't know. Is this your first time at Hooters? So, what do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. Become a doctor or something? Want to know how to make doctor money without going to school? 
How? <laughs> Remind me to show you my magic printer. How? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, all right, we'll come back. The fuck is that? You gotta be you gotta be high for that. <laughs> I need like heroin for this one. That's like yeah, that's like adult swim fucking lunacy. What's happening, Mandy? Mandy, what is this? Uh what's going on? There's some drama out there. Uh just so you know, Phil has a link uh as well. So okay. what is the uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know if y'all could hear me or not. Yeah. Okay, so now I've known for I guess we're gonna do some eclipse dirt. So I've known for a while because it was a thing about how uh Patrick went into a secret meeting with EVS to say that I was a problem and he needed to do something with me. Wait, Is was it- the secret meeting the one where they went to the restaurant or bar? No, no, this was a, they like messaged Ethan and was like, we need to talk to you. We got to have a conversation with you. And Ethan's like, all right, whatever. So it was in a back room, right? Like a, like a back room. And so I've known forever that Patrick did it. And I was like outing Patrick for have doing it. And I also knew that Phil was a part of it too. But I never said Phil's name. Like I just said, it was two creators, you know, that did they it. Never, right? They never brought up that I was a part of it, right? No, I left you out right, because cool. you know I'm yeah. I'm con like that. So I, I, I was there too. Right? As, and yeah, Sorry. and John, I left you guys out. You know what yeah. I mean? But uh, so last night I was talking because you know uh, Patrick hit Ethan's channel. And I found out. Wait, wait hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean, Patrick? He struck him. Channel. He's he, he gave him a stri- he like tried to strike his channel last night. Really? Where have I mean, you been, John? This my lawyer is gonna go after you. I, I miss <laughs> one night, and people are like, "I've been living on the fucking moon." What yeah, is he, I he hate got, the internet. I'm leaving he, right now. He then got <laughs> struck, and then and then he's like, "Yo, that's fair use." My, I'm gonna sue the fuck out of you. I have a lawyer on retainer for shit like this, and Patrick immediately took the strike away. Yes. Yeah. So, and I found out about it like literally as I was going live because, like, all of a sudden I'm going live and I start seeing like a frog grade and everything. I'm like, when the hell is Ethan live? So, apparently, he went live for like five minutes while I was playing intros and I didn't know. So, when I went live, I was like, what the hell's going on? And then everybody kind of filled me in on it. And then, so I'm talking about it, right? Like, I'm going through it and stuff. And Ethan's in the chat. And I'm talking about how, you know, Patrick pulled a little bitch move and went and told Ethan that something's going to be done about me. And you know, I was like, and another well, what creator. Was, what, wait, what were, what was uh, Patrick and Phil when they were alleged, allegedly talking to Ethan? What were they complaining about you? What were they saying? Oh, they were accusing me of all kinds of Did like. The accent, want... is that what they were mad about? Uh, the accent, right? The accent. Yeah, it just like sounds not? racist. Sounds yeah, it sounds it racist. Do, it does sound a little bit, yeah. It does sound a little Great. bit like yeah. I'm over here walking in high cotton, don't it? You said yeah. it's grading? Yeah. Like they were saying that, right? <laughs> they were saying, no, look, it was it was the most retarded shit ever. They were saying, like, I've I've put some kind of sexual spell on Dale Kia. I mean, it was retarded, it was fucking retarded. Like I'm I'm singing mm-hmm. this siren song, luring in, or it was it was retarded. It was stupid. So, um, hey, I, Ethan, I, we gotta talk, dude. Yeah, yeah, we gotta talk oh, about man. this baby situation. <laughs> First of all, that's that siren spell that she did was called shaking her tits. Yeah. <laughs> Mandy's got Dale Keown, a grown man, wrapped around her finger. Yeah, yeah. He can't make a single decision anymore without, like without a apparently. Child. Yeah. yeah, like a child that, you know. So I did not out Phil about it, even though I've known for a while that Phil was a part of that too. But mm-hmm. last night I was talking about it and I was saying another creator. And Ethan was like, oh, it was Phil Diaz. Just in the chat, I'm like, oh well, now you've outed him. So yeah, it was him. Yeah, that's that's who it was. That was the, that was the other one. And then we kind of broke down why we think because I don't have any like connection with Phil. Like I'm not really we don't really run in the same like circles and we don't oh. really talk to each other and there's really no interaction with me and Phil. Mm-hmm. So there's no point in him like even even investing like, any any thought <laughs> into me. Oh, oh my God. going outside? Yeah, I'm going, out, I'm going outside. 
So like I haven't taught the field in years, not not in like literally years since I was first here. So it's like says, why we did... used to we used to what hang out or I guess so. Yeah, and I did. I did. Well, you for... have the link. Get in here and uh yeah, me I mean the... well, tell me because I gotta go back inside to let him in if he's coming in. Okay, it hasn't beeped. You gotta let who back in? What are you talking about? Cecil? He's saying he's got to go back inside if it boops and Phil shows up, so he can let well, Phil. I can't see it because oh, I'm not. At, I yeah, I sent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let me, yeah. Phil, send a message if you're in. I'll go back inside. Look at Cecil uh, running out to see the eclipse like he's 12 years old. I see it. There's the sun right behind me. By the way, look with his bare eyes. <laughs> there it is. Well, there it's it cloudy there. <laughs> I got sunglasses. Yeah, on. Yeah, but it'll oh. still get dark. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it so should. I don't see any eclipse. So far. there's no. I got a little pop. Hold on. Let me go say hi. I'm watching a dog. Uh, Cecil saying fake news on the eclipse. Do you yeah, know I, what time it's supposed to be? Like where you're at, or you just randomly? Oh, look at the puppy. Oh, look at that. Wh whose dog is that? I'm watching it for a friend. Aww. Oh, for a friend. You, you know, sunglasses aren't enough, right? Hold on, sorry. What sunglasses are fine? No, no, they're, they're, no, they're not. Yeah, that's all you need. It might be oh, a little on. dim. It might have gotten a little dimmer. Here. All right, I got it. I got a delivery coming. Hold on a second. God, he's just he's got a lot going on, don't he? Yeah, I guess. I'm waiting it's for the end of the world to happen with this eclipse, like you know, Y2K or no, they're know, supposed another, to start. A cannibalistic like ritual is supposed to happen. John, yeah. again, where have you been? Like this has been all over the news that they're gonna start oh, took eating a shower. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard anything about any of this. Oh I'm dear. Um, yeah. Now so the eclipse they they're supposed when, to start when, a ritual. When was, the, uh, when was the stream with you and Ethan? Last night. What was I doing last night? Was I on a stream? What the fuck did I do last night? I have no oh. idea. I don't know. I got uh my sister's in town now. Oh, that's sweet. I gotta go meet up with her in a little bit. We'll see. That sounds fun. I'm doing Mange and Mandy tonight. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. In a couple hours. Do you, how many times a week do you guys do that? Twice. Once on my channel, once on his. Oh, okay. It's like a daytime show, isn't it? What it is. It's early because like we do it tonight, so we go before King starts, so we can send everybody over to King's when it goes live. So we stop as soon as King starts. Oh, okay. and we go yeah. live at like at six. So yeah. just Miyak too said, uh, you did me last night, John, and little gay flag. Well, no, I don't remember it. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He does, obviously. I was, probably raising, I was probably raising hell in my own little corner of the world. I know everybody don't, doesn't understand that, but a lot of times I just think about myself. That's yeah. You know, I can say maybe, that. I can, maybe, I can, <laughs> maybe I'm, yeah, it might be selfish. I don't know. No, I can, I mean, I can totally say that. Yeah. I can say that. Hi. Did you get your package? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm good. Can good. you hear me? Yeah. There's a sign behind me. It's yeah, that bright. looks big, man. It does. Yeah. In fact, I think the eclipse is making the sun bigger today. I think this is all a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Well, it's dimmer here. I think it, I think it's dimmer right now. That's it looks, like, it looks like a lot of cloud coverage, you know, like. One of those days, like just a dreary day, is how it looks. Like I can just see outside my window where I'm at. You're yeah, that's how it looks here too. You're yeah. ten minutes ahead of us. Yeah. So it should be. But I'm also I'm also not in the uh, path. You know, like I don't remember like the news using the word path of totality as much Nobody as i heard it in, in the last. Dude, it's, week. it's been so overhyped. There was one in 2017. Yeah. No one gives a shit. If they're making well, this I, into a, I feel like but, they kept they kept using a lot of terms like making it just like like the end of the world national or state emergencies path of totality just like I don't know man I know. you know the, kind of, the, the news is gonna fucking dramatize everything oh uh, uh, Phil, uh, Phil, Phil says, says he's there. here that he's in uh, the, 
Uh, let me go inside. You waited just for the eclipse to happen so that you'd miss it. So okay. <laughs> I'll go let him in. What a jerk. Listen to this fat boy run. <laughs> Is that him running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Oh my god. Schools are shutting down. Why? Mm. Why? I mean, I had to sign a permission slip for my son to go and do like go look at the sun and stuff, but they didn't close mm. down school because of it. So that's weird. Right. You need a permission slip to look at the sun. Welcome, yeah. Phil. Phil, we need peace in Israel just for two more minutes so we can uh, enjoy the eclipse together. And then, then you guys can bring about the end of your world. I I can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, hey, kind of. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm on my phone. Okay. Uh, there you go. I also have a dentist appointment at three. So. Oh, at three? You're 15 minutes late. Well, in central time. Oh. Uh. All right. All right, I'm going back out. I'm gonna make another coffee with whiskey. All right, you're gonna right, miss you the uh, fucking eclipse. You're gonna make a coffee with in whiskey. You got one minute. Oh wait, no, no, no. You got like five minutes. Like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. This is my eclipse right now. That's right, three fifteen. Is it dark yeah. over by you? Nah, it looks the same. Just like from what I can see, it just looks like overcast. I'm not impressed, God. <laughs> Way to Best blow it, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least had a fucking hurricane or something. Right. Her yeah, we had a big storm here the other day. Trees came down. Not a single tree has moved since this eclipse started. Yeah. A lot of bullshit, if you ask me. So, what's going on? What? Oh, so well, well, I was trying to have peace in Israel until this eclipse, but I don't know. Might as well talk about it. This. There's like it's five old minutes, news. Five minutes ago. Let's have war on Israel. It's new news. I, I didn't hear this. I, didn't hear I don't think there's going to be a lot of war because I don't really care. Hmm. Like, it's just, you know. Phil, you and uh, what's it, Party Time what's uh, got together and asked Ethan for a private meetup regarding Mandy. Yeah, talk. So. Man, two, I feel like it was two years ago, uh, Dale announced that I was going to write Pit for him. And uh, that was awesome. And then a year ago, uh, everybody remembers the whole debacle where Mandy vanished off the internet. Uh -huh. And uh, Dale messaged me. He's like, and I'm like, man, this is crazy. This is what happened. And he's like, yeah, war campaign needs to stop coming after her. And, you know, it's, you know, putting her family in jeopardy, yada, yada. And uh, no one had heard from her. I mean, I didn't hear from her. Not someone that I really would talk to. But Mandy, I've been on your show many times and we've been on many streams together. So uh, about a week, it was probably April, about a week after Mandy's disappearance, I get a random message from Dale uh, in the like four o'clock in the morning. You still, I know you and War Campaign uh, it, uh, hacked Mandy Mandy's computer and exposed her pictures and put them on on a uh, on the internet. And I'm like, what? And that was. He's like, we're done. F you. And that's the why, last. Why, why, why would Dale come to that conclusion that you, you did that? Exactly. I mean, I didn't know at that moment. But John, do you remember I told you this in the past? Um, I don't know. I, I don't told remember. you in a back about a five, probably four days after that, we were on a stream together on your stream, and in the back room after the stream. I told you this happened. And I was freaked out about it because I hadn't heard, heard from him. I couldn't get a hold of him. I couldn't text him or anything. He wouldn't reply back to me. And uh, I'm pretty sure I, I called Cecil about this at the time it happened as well. Um, we had a conversation about it. Uh, so then two weeks later, 
Dale messaged me, uh, apologizing. He said, dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, Mandy lied to me. Mandy told me that you exposed her pictures and put them on the internet, made me choose between you and her. Uh, and I can't believe it. You know, she's really nasty. She's mean to me. She basically wanted me to fire you. And that's what happened. He's like, I'm super sorry. And uh, I want to work with you in the future. But this is how. Oh, wait, are you wait? You're saying that Dale said that Mandy said to fire you as the writer of Pitt or. Yeah. And what? basically, I, I guess had him convinced that I was the one that leaked nude photos of Mandy and put them online. And that's what he told me what happened. Oh, oh and um, is this is this why the on the bus didn't happen or does that have nothing yeah to do yeah so we we were scheduled to do the omnibus as well with dale and, with that. and during that time that uh you know two weeks or a month that i didn't hear from dale um i guess patrick and billy started talking to dale about doing the omnibus because i was like out of the picture with that guys uh, uh, it's starting to get dark i think god is angry Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a time of reckoning, I guess. So, so yeah, then that's when the swooping happens because after Dale apologized to me and started oh, talking. Wait, to me, wait, what swooping? The the swooping of Patrick onto the on the bus. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that happens because usually I, I I put swooping with Ethan going for the on the bus. Yeah. Which, oh yeah. no, that was the original swoop. Uh, All right, the initial <laughs> swoop. The initial swoop, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and so that's when that happened. Um, and when I started talking to Dale again, he's like, "Oh, we're all cool, but I'm gonna do the omnibus on my own now," because he was already in the process of uh, working it out with Billy and Pat. Mm -hmm. And then so we were kind of left in the dust on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I never brought it up or talked about it. People in the chat talked about it, and uh, you know, I appreciate that. But I'm not one to uh, to complain about things that happen to me. The, the reason I went, thought I should talk to Ethan about it, is because that happened. And uh, in fact, when when Dale sent me that message, I think the first person I messaged was Mandy, being on Facebook, and I'm like, "Hey, have you heard from Dale? Because I just got this really weird message from him." I'm kind of freaking out. I don't know what's going on. And, you know, I know they were close, um, stuff like that. But in the past, before that even happened, you know, he would message me um, with, you know, problems he had with Mandy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. in the past, and him not wanting his pit and trying to stop uh, the, doing the pages for Gem Shock and yada, yada, yada. But that, that goes way back with him is like a kind of complaints about that. But when I got fired off of, of the, the job for Pitt and all that stuff kind of like spirals from that, I'm like, oh shit, Mandy tried to get me canceled off this project and it's kind of messed up, uh, mm. you know, so. So you, you think that that basically rumors were started unfounded rumors were kind of started uh and uh that led to you know bad things happening so, no I, oh, uh, I wouldn't say i mean i think that mandy told dale exactly what he told me or told me that she told him um even if she maybe there's some somewhere i mean i don't know mandy you could attest this if that's what you think happens not i've never had nude images of you. I've never been a matrix matrix esque hacker. Uh, not even in the '90s, where I could hack people's computers from states away, to then go back in time to 2017 and post them on Reddit myself with a different handle. Uh, but that's what he told me that happened, and that's the knowledge I have. Hmm. 
So this guy that I've treated so very poorly and has just, and he's sitting there crying to you about how bad I've done him. I still had the power to pull strings like that. Hey, the only thing I ever told Dale is you agreed to do this book with Phil. You probably need to do this fucking book with Phil. That's what I told Dale. I left for a month. Not because of anything you did, and not even because they put out fake news of me. I don't even give a shit about that. What I left because of is they were doxing my house where I have two small children. They were doxing my dad's obituary where it lists every fucking right, member that, of my family. That's why I left. But during this time that I left, I supposedly got you canceled off a book when I wasn't talking to anybody. I was gone. I didn't talk to Shane. I didn't talk to Dale. The only person I talked to during that time was Peter to say, I'm getting this done. I'm getting this done. Other than that, I didn't talk to anybody. So I don't know why Dale said so, some of the things that Dale said, but it wasn't true. I mean, I, at no point did I say cancel. Phil. I don't give a fuck who's doing the books with Dale because I'm not doing them. It's not like if I got you canceled, I was going to swoop in and take over and do it myself. I had no intentions of ever doing but fucking pit uh, with him. So, all right. So you have no intentions to swooping in on that. No, I've, so I no a point have I. And that that's that's fine. I'm, and you're saying that Dale, you never told Dale that I was responsible for. That you Happy yourself group. was responsible. No, I said it was War Campaign and Vicky, and it was the groups that hang around with War Campaign. I said it okay. was them because it because it, it was them. That's that's the group that did it. It was Vicky and Dean and all of those assholes that thought it was kosher to go and uh you know dox my family. That to me was a little, and I had to I had to decide is this. Is this really something worth putting my kids at danger? I have a 13-year-old daughter. That's not something that I'm going to even fucking for a second play with. That's, why, that's why just would, not. Why would Dale think that then? I, I don't know. Dale's, Dale said, to, I'm not going to get into it, but Dale said some shit about you too, but I'm not going to get into it. So Why would you not get into it? <laughs> why would you want me to? You might as well clear the air right now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna say it live. No, because a, saying, "Oh, Dale said some stuff about you too," it just puts that out there, and now people, it's in people's minds, just dating, and it could be literally anything. Let's just put the bed during the eclipse. And they, there's an old saying that everything said during a, an eclipse is forgotten as soon as the eclipse ends. So just do it now. Get it it's out. Like yeah. I'm sorry. What I just, was that? I just made, I just made that up, by the way. But yeah, I think, the, I think the eclipse, I think the eclipse <laughs> is probably the best thing. time to clear the air. Yeah, it's new yeah. old thing. I came here to tell the truth of what's happened to me in the past. Um, you know, I love everybody in the chat and all the supporters. I love making comics and seeing them in people's hands, and to have the opportunity to work with a legend like Dale Keown. It was I was over the moon about it, and you guys saw that in the chat. I, I loved it. So when that happened, you know, I, I tried to call C people and talk to him about it. I've talked to many people about this. Uh, John, you, you don't, I guess, you don't remember, but that live stream when I mentioned it to you before I heard back about from from Dale, I remember you specifically saying, "Wait a second, let me put my tinfoil hat on for for a minute. What if Mandy told Dale this?" to get you off the book so she could publish Pit. What if Manny told Dale that to get you off the book so she could publish Pit? Yeah, yeah. I guess it would make sense. Wait, so I that was the first care. time that had popped into my head when you told me that, John. Uh, but that's what subsequently Dale told me a couple weeks later. And it's not I, like, yeah, and I mean, I even it, understand but, that. But what I don't understand is through all of this, if you thought that I did that, you talked to John about it. You talked yeah. to Cecil about it. You talked to Ethan about it. You mm -hmm. talked to everybody about it. Mm -hmm. Yet you and I never had a single conversation about this. I messaged you the night. I messaged you the night Dale fired me off of the book. You, you never responded to me. And then once Dale told me what he told me, I took that as his word. And I'm like, why would I ever want to speak to this person? Wait, are you saying that I put this in your head? 
<laughs> when you just said that. <laughs> no, that, that was, I, and, like you just John. said that was the first time that thought went in your head that Mandy interfered when John brought it up. Why would I bring it up unless it was already being brought up? <laughs> well, you when I that doesn't sound uh, right. That doesn't ring true. Well, that's what happened after the live stream. There was a few well, people. I put, in it, the I, put it in, I put it in your head that Mandy was probably interfering. You were the first person that I talked to about it. To put it in your head that Mandy was interfering. I, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. John. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, what you, I told you. That should have been the first thought in your head. <laughs> <That should> have... <laughs> Sure. What do I, I, I know about that. Guys, what do I know about your guys' fucking drama? Unless you guys are fucking telling me your drama. Definitely. But what I told you that uh, was don't your... try throwing me under the bus because you I'm, fucked I'm not, right I'm not fucking right. Yeah, you are because if we did have this conversation, that was a A B conversation. And you're out here fucking putting oh, it out. Okay. Yeah, I didn't you're trying to throw me under the bus people? because you got a fucking gripe with Mandy, so you're gonna try to burn down whatever you can burn down. Who fucking I'm not cares? John. I'm not trying to burn down anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're putting shit out there because you think you're fucking clever. You think you're going to air out everybody's dirty laundry. That's not even dirty laundry, you dummy. All right, I'm not trying to air it out. No, you I'm... are trying to air it out because it means nothing in this conversation. You're trying to act, oh, I didn't even have, even have that thought until John put it in my head. Bullshit, dude. You totally had that fucking thought in your head. Get the fuck out of here. Like, what kind of, like, low IQ fucking... Uh, chess moves are we fucking making here like what is i'm i'm really fucking clever let me put john under the bus while we're out here talking about mandy about something that doesn't mean nothing about nothing but it sounds juicy i wasn't trying to throw you under the bus john yeah phil let me tell you something because you're a young man still um you need to learn to control yourself when you uh, are reacting to rumors about what people are saying about other people are fucking saying because i've heard rumors I hear plenty of rumors. And you know what I don't do is I don't come back and I don't go throw them onto those people. Okay. So take that as a lesson. Uh, think about it for a little bit. You know what I mean? When it comes to just how easy you like to just try to throw people under the bus because you think you're clever, but you're not. So just remember, shut your mouth. When you have when you have opportunities to have private conversations with people shut your mouth just shut your fucking mouth you try throwing people under the bus so you're having fucking private conversations with shut your fucking mouth just do it just shut your fucking mouth you didn't have to put that out there you put that out there because you want to be like oh yeah well look i had a private conversation i shouldn't have talked to any of you motherfuckers really i shouldn't talk to any of you guys because you're all gossipy little fucking bitches and i don't give a fuck you guys hey, sit here you, wait you guys sit there and tell me your fucking problems and I say, oh, okay. And then I got to fucking hear about it. I don't know. Years fucking later. Oh, I was on a private. Maybe you don't remember when I was on a private stream. I don't, yeah, I don't fucking recall. Okay. There, It's so fucking stupid that you would put that out there thinking you're clever, trying to air me out for some kind of dirty laundry on my fucking part. Meanwhile, I sit on a fucking uh, mountain of fucking rumors. And I, I just don't fucking act on them, dude. I don't fucking act on them. Well, I didn't and, act and, on and, and even though I've had all these opportunities to fucking act on them and air them out, I just fucking don't. You see what I'm saying, Phil? So that's what happened. So shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't fucking bring me up. All right. I'll never say Don't bring me anyone. up to your friends as some kind of like dirty element. Uh, don't go around saying shit about me. Like you got some kind of uh dirt on me well i was in some little private dm i was in some little private chat with john i was in a private chat with john one time you know what he said that that thought didn't even cross my john, mind I was like, telling that me thought didn't even cross my mind till he brought it up get the fuck out of here i didn't See, think that's... the sky was blue until he pointed out that it was kind of blue the fuck out of here you low-key fucking bullshit dude you think you're high iq and you're fucking dumb just fucking dumb. Do you have an issue? Do you think you can stay here and just like on. put my name out there like that? And like I'm just not gonna notice. Oh, I didn't know what I was doing. I'll John, I the... retract your name. All right. No, you don't. Just don't say my name. When you go out and you hang out with your friends or you hang out with my friends, don't talk about me. How about that? Okay. Don't say John's a jerk. 
Uh, I was in a private conversation with John. You know what else I heard about John? X, Y, or Z. How about you just shut your fucking hole? So that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> All so right. actually what happened was absolutely nothing happened. Uh, except for you got some bad information from another party and you got mm -hmm. you're mad at Mandy for it. And so what you guys then had a DM group with uh no, you couldn't have done that then. When did you have your talk with Ethan where you're airing out Mandy? Once Patrick just... once once Patrick lost the omnibus, which oh, wasn't really partnered... a lose. Which they wasn't really, uh, they had to because they went in together, which wasn't really a losing. I mean, even Shane was a part of that. It was kind of all of it. Me and Shane got up early to do the launch for it and everything just blew the fuck up. I mean, Dale came in hot. It was awkward. Oh my God. Me and Shane were just like, "What? okay, what do we do? But then apparently after that, it kind of got turned that I'm the the catalyst for everybody, even though, I mean, the reality is, it, and I mean, if I had wanted to push to do anything with Dale, I probably could have done it, I, but I have no desire to. I've got my own books I'm working on. I'm not, I'm not out here trying to climb the ladder on Dale Keown. That's not, I don't, I don't, I, doing pit to me seems like a lot of fucking pressure and I would just rather write my own books. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I just think it's cool to be friends with Dale. But no, Phil, at no point did I was I the cause of you losing that. If you want to find out why, I suggest you go talk to Dale about it. But yeah, Phil, Phil, has, you, Phil, has it occurred to you? Of, has it occurred, of me. Hold on. Did it occur to you when you teamed up with uh, Party Time Patrick? Did it occur to you at all that both your guys' problem might just be Dale? Um, I guess. Well, let let that ring in your head for a little bit because here's sure. the problem with party time, Patrick. Here's the problem with party time, Patrick. He blamed everybody but Dale, and here you yeah. are blaming everybody but Dale. Look, I love Dale. I don't want Dale to be thrown under the bus, the bus or whatnot. But you guys keep using Dale back and forth, like Dale's so innocent in here. Let me take a strike at Mandy. Dale's so innocent well, in here. Let me take a strike at John. Let me take a strike at. Uh, anyone that's in the path except Dale. I don't think you guys should be fucking uh, doing anything with Dale. Uh, Dale is a precious creature. But yeah, the, because, the because he's a precious creature, you guys got to fucking factor that into your little girl brains that, hey, hey you know John. what? Maybe your problem isn't with everybody else that, that orbits Dale. It might just be with Dale. Just accept that and move the fuck on. And you sit there and you, you, you let pa party time Patrick convince you probably because it ben it benefits you to let Mandy be the problem. You sat there and listened to his party time poison and, and you drank it in because you're like, yeah, 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 yeah let me get Mandy because uh, Mandy's got to be my problem. And it never occurred to you while you're teaming up with that dummy that your problem was always Dale, that you're getting bad information from Dale uh, or a bad impression from Dale. And party time Patrick is getting a bad impression from Dale. Well, I only know what I'm presented with. And no, 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 no. If I am given information from somebody that I consider to be a unreliable source, then that's my fault if I choose to believe it. it because sure, I'm biased. Because yeah, I'm I biased. Never, I never no, considered you are biased. Glad. Party time Patrick is biased. So you guys chose to believe. You choose and continue to choose to believe that everybody else is your problem except the person who's giving you bad information. So you guys are going to fuck up all your fucking networks because you can't put the point of the finger on the one guy, on the one guy. And because that person is a precious human being, he should be forgiven. And uh, everyone should just move the fuck on. Yeah, I moved on. No, you haven't. None of you fuckers yes, have moved on. I have, so I'm still then... hearing about you. I'm still I'm hearing about all you fucks. I just don't fucking talk about it. I don't fucking air you out. I still yeah. hear about you fuckers going out there talking shit. I still hear about you fuckers. So shut the fuck up and stop act like you're not out there on back channels being little fucking bitches. All right. Well, I came on here to tell my side of the story and what that was all about. I was concerned for Dale and uh, that's why. We love Dale and Dale's a precious human being. 
understand that. Yep. And, and I only know, I only know of what to everybody else. Take that at face. I take that at face value, and I didn't whine about it, and uh, I moved on from it. So that's what happened. You know, and if if you're saying if you what you're saying, Mandy, is true, that's assume it is. God fucking damn it, Christ! Stop! Shut up! Assume it is. Until you have evidence otherwise, Jesus fucking Christ! Wouldn't that get be the same thing? As evidence, Dale, get some fucking evidence and then fucking uh, go out there and be a little fucking bitch. How about that? Get some fucking evidence. Dale is not your evidence. Dale's an unreliable witness. God damn it! Fuck. How could you discern that? By paying attention to the last fucking year of events. God damn it. Are you an intelligent person or are you a dummy? Would you consider yourself an, an intelligent person or a dummy? Yeah, I'd consider myself an intelligent person, John. All right, and then I want you to think about this for a while. I want you to think about the idea of having a little bit of fucking evidence about what's going on. Actual fucking evidence, not coming from unreliable fucking sources before you go out there and badmouth people, Bill Diaz. I've met I have hundreds of messages Stop from bad mouthing yeah. people, Phil Diaz. Stop it. Christ. You get a lot, you've had a lot of opportunities around here, and you can't shut your fucking mouth behind fucking closed doors. That's your problem, Phil Diaz. You can't shut your fucking hole. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I don't. You know exactly. What the fuck I'm talking about. So shut your fucking hole. Get some fucking evidence next time you want to badmouth people. All right, let's bury this under the eclipse and move the fuck on. Christ. I wish you the best, Phil. It never got dark out. What time is my eclipse supposed to happen, John? It's already happened. You enjoyed it. That was you it. enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. You enjoyed every aspect of it. It was it was fun. The for sky you. has been blue the entire time. Yeah, it was fun for you. You enjoyed it. It was a great. It was a great time. Had I mean, it was you should have had your box with the uh, hole in it. I mean, without you guys, it would have been the shittiest eclipse of all time. But it actually, is my favorite eclipse so far. But even though it never even got dark. Well, there you go. Isn't the whole point of a solar eclipse is it gets dark? Yeah, it got dark by me. What? Got, I was live. It never got dark. It got I real dark. It I didn't the, get dark here either. I had the camera on the sun the whole time over my shoulder. It never got dark. It's supposed to last for two and a half hours. Maybe it didn't happen yet here. I don't know what the fuck is going on. How did you not look up the time before you walked outside? There's a chart that tells you what time it's happening in your area. Yeah, right, you well, I'm it. on Long Island. Can somebody tell me what time oh, that God is? Oh, God damn it. Say so. <laughs> John, John put in my zip code and said it was the, the peak is 326, which was 20 minutes ago. And it well, then, still then you enjoyed it. Then you had you had your fun with it. Blue skies. It's in this, I've been in eclipses where it gets dark out. It got dark it, here. It yeah, did it was not dark. get dark. It's it bright now. Dark you have glasses? Here. Where are your glasses? <laughs> if I put those fucking glasses on, it'll be dark, but it's been blue fucking skies here. Anyway, either way, you guys have made this my favorite eclipse by far oh, in my yeah. 52 years. Best eclipse ever. Easily the best eclipse uh, stream of the day. That's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I'm just I'm just very disappointed with God right now and his bullshit eclipse. Way to go, God. Way to let me down again. Yeah. First he gives me baloney tits and now this. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to my computer. Okay. Boy. I'll be uh -huh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Are we gonna get me. to hear you run? Are we gonna get to hear No, I'm gonna shut the mic so you don't have to hear me breathing heavy. That's you guys can talk about yourselves. That's too bad. That was my favorite part was hearing you, you know. It sounded like a, a fat kid running after the ice cream truck. And that I was happy about that.
That made me happy. Well, Phil, I honestly, I wish you the best in everything that you do. Um, I mean, I, I, I told Dale to CG expected it. He needed to do it. That's, that's the best I can give you. At no point did I do anything that I was accused of. I told Dale when he was telling me he didn't want to do it. I said, you probably need to. That's, you know, CG is kind of expecting it. I left for a month. When I came back, he was doing it with Patrick. Don't know what happened. I wasn't here for it. Don't fucking know. I wasn't talking to anybody. I came back. You're off. Patrick is on. Didn't say nothing about that. I, I support Dale. No, I, I mean, it, it did, I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit. Doesn't doing what I can tell you it wasn't going to be me. Other than that, I didn't. I truly didn't give a shit who was working on books with them. No more than I care about who John well, hires for. Mandy, doesn't, it, doesn't, hires. It, doesn't it concern you though that I was told that? Not really, because you're you're. It was coming from Dale. I mean, so no, Dale is incredibly unreliable. I I don't believe. I mean, I love Dale, but I mean, I'm I would not take I would not take Dale's. You know what Dale says after a binger as the fucking gospel either. That's I mean that's just when Dale tells me shit all the time, and I don't go and repeat it. I just oh Dale, <laughs> you silly, you silly goose, and I move on about my life because the reality is is I don't give I I just I don't give a shit. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I work on my own books, so it doesn't. It I'm not I'm not trying to work with anybody but the artist I'm already working with. So. There was nothing anybody can really say that so and so said this, so and so said. I didn't even mention your name until Ethan did. I, I, because I, I didn't care. I thought it was shitty of you because I've been nothing but kind to you and promoted you over the years. Even you know, you'll know what I'm talking about. I even covered your ass for some shit. But at the same time, it, it really didn't bother me. It's not like you're my best friend and we go and picnic together and shit like that. I mean. It's just kind of like, well, that's so, oh, well, who is that? He's, he's switching to his computer. Oh, okay. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but, you know, that's par for the course of, you know, working with other people. So I just went on living my life. Like I said, I've heard rumors too. I just don't go and repeat them. Even to the point I didn't repeat your name of who it was in the back room, uh, you know, up until Ethan outed you. I wasn't going to say your name until somebody, until somebody that you had said it to did it. Even though I've known since the meeting happened. And I know what the context was too, by the way. I'm not stupid. Sure. I know. So you know and I know that I know what the context was. And it wasn't 100% about Pitt. You know it and I know it. And it was some fucking bullshit. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And I truly do wish you the best in all of your endeavors within Comicsgate. I hope that your next book does well. But I mean, you know, I'm, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I, we, I wish you the best. I hope, I hope I things don't go leave, well. Don't leave, Phil. I got to read super chats. Any super chats directed to you? Hold on. All right. I got to drive to the dentist office, though. Okay. Oh, be careful. That's, that's uh, dangerous. Uh, El Bond says, I throw Ethan. No, Ethan, Ethan knew. Ethan outed him. Ethan, y'all can go back and watch the stream. Ethan knew he outed him. And said he's, you know, he takes the blame for it. So I'm not, I'm not necessarily throwing Ethan under the bus. Ethan knew. Ethan, Ethan knew that I, was, I hadn't said anything. He even mentioned it. So, um, hold on. Uh, Nails Bunny, two fingers, many oh, stones, pays me. for art with pics of her total eclipse. EVS calls you two fingers, by the way, Mandy. I don't know what that means. Oh, he's got a pet name for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. That's Emerald, cool. <laughs> Emerald Avenger 2814 says, hail from Rochester, New York, waiting for nothing here. Hail, Mail, and Mandy, what's up, Cecil? What's up? Ew. Outlaw 2, member for two months. Thank you, sir. He said, if she breathes, she's a thought. Case closed. <laughs> David L., my hate crime book is damaged. How do I get a new one? I'll send you a new one, David. Send me a message in the uh, on the message of the campaign. There's like a discussion board thing. Send that over there. Uh, just say you need a new one. Your thing's damaged, and I'll resend it today. 
Uh, Russell Hall, will you damage your eyes with normal sunglasses? I mean, I'll find no, out. That was I, a I, statement. I, that that wasn't a question. He's stating you will oh. damage your eyes with normal sunglasses. Well, I have to say, I did look at it when we were when you guys were arguing, and then I, and when I when I look back at it, my you know my my phone screen, it was just blinding white for about a minute, and then it settled down. So I think I did do a little damage because I couldn't see anything but white for a minute. Oh, Jesus. Um, a get Over It says, Juju's refattening Cecil, cooking show, and approved. Yes, yeah, she is refattening me. Uh, Laserbeam Hawkins says, I was promised super werewolves nada. This eclipse was such a letdown. <laughs> there were, I don't even think a fucking owl came out, not a bat, nothing. Nobody. A vampire. No vampires got fucking fooled. Uh, Captain Chokeout said, for... Foit for our amusement, oi. <laughs> Headrock says, are we sure Dale's not masterminding all of this? Oh, he's oh. like Jar Jar Binks <laughs> as the Darth, uh, as, the, as the Sith Lord. Like, everybody thinks he's a bumbling fool, but uh, he's actually... Oh, I, I wouldn't say that about Dale. You, no, you did. I heard you. No. Uh, Russell Hall says, it's time for a mutton chop intervention with Phil. I think that time was about three inches ago. It's too late now. Last time I shaved him was on Mandy Street. They're not mutton chops anymore. They connect. It's a neck beard. He's no. gone full Amish. No, neck beard's actually down on your neck. His, I don't know what that's called. Where you're, connects, wait, but... pull, pull, turn your chin. Do they connect? Yeah, you're Amish now. Or you're either Amish or an Al Qaeda. <laughs> you got the chin strap beard. Uh, Daniel for ten dollars says, "Jesus, I woke up. What's going on?" All right, we'll go over the entire thing in a minute. I want oh, you guys to re, re, can you re, reenact everything for uh, Daniel? He just woke up. Uh, Headrock says, "Dale criticized Mandy. Uh, the CERN theory is now proved." Okay, what? so this, multiverse? Huh. There's a multiverse where he would criticize Mandy. Uh, Ozhead says, "Everyone apologize and make out with Cecilia." Uh, ladies man 727 says where have you been Phil it feels like years since you streamed with Cecil or Mel and promote your work but you getting, I got a promotion but also getting the, these books done what do you got you got anything for sale right now uh, we're actually probably getting the books for Lost Pages 3 this week they've been at the printers for the last week the ones that Bisley is signing are in the UK at his house and he's signing them. So uh, we're starting fulfillment probably next week. Lost pages three. Okay. Uh, SHS Rebels 08 says, I'm saying the brownie is a little liar. Who's the brownie? I don't know what that means. Uh, N Rad says, Summer of 08 or 09. <laughs> I'm not going to read this. Uh, was, okay. Okay. Never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Captain Chokeout says, Dr. Phil will listen to your pleas. Oh, you're Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. uh, Brains taste awful. Says, Ethan verified Mandy's version last night. Sus Phil. Captain Choka said this is clearly a case for Perot or Colombo. Those, those are detectives for anybody who doesn't understand that. Uh, SHS Rebels 08 says Pony Q off little brownie. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what that means? Is this like. I have no idea. And I can usually decipher shrubbles, but that fuck one. Off. Is... Oh, fuck off, little brownie. Was that what it says? Oh. Funk? I don't know what any of that means. Uh, Gaz, nice one, John. You're a top dude. AJR says, woo, this is great. It really made the, the non-eclipse, you know, actually kind of exciting. Uh, Ozhead says, so long, CG. Been real. John, calm down. Daniel says, it's too early in the morning for this. I'm going back to bed. Headrock says, kick everyone. 
<laughs> Russell Hall says it looks like John has a case of the Mondays. Hmm. Captain Choke out says Cecil, go check the IG group chat. Okay, hold on. What kind of horror are you throwing in there right now? Uh, uh, Captain Chogut says, bring out the Kion. Let us hear Dale's words. Like the gimp? Uh, uh, yeah, send Dale the link. Let's fucking, let's do it. It's the eclipse. Uh, J Bama fan, one hot dog nation says, thanks Cecil for making this eclipse memorable. I did nothing. I literally did nothing. AJR says Cecil needs to start figuring out who else he can get on here that will say the wrong thing to John because this is very entertaining. <laughs> um, Captain Joker says, I think John is happy. He should say what he thinks. Uh, Nail Bunny says, obviously Malin knows what Phil said is true. John's not here though right now. Where did John go? I didn't... Did he... I don't know. Okay. He didn't put anything in the private chat. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Rendell says, I feel bad, and I didn't even do anything. You should feel bad, Mac. Uh, Northman says, I just got here. What is happening? <laughs> you have to rewind. Charles Wright says, I need to hire John to go around telling people who pissed me off to shut the fuck up. It's very impressive. Uh, Headrock says, peak was at 1025. Lasted one minute. You missed it. Uh, that's I what I, I say that to Juju all the time. Uh, uh, oh God, I just got, I just got that joke. Fuck. <laughs> Veruca Saki says, "From one fill to another, let it go." Northman says, "Also got my CG. Didn't know you were sending it out. Awesome surprise. Yeah, I do send them out when you, <laughs> when you buy them." Here's one thing, guys. It's not like I'm holding on to anything. I haven't been in Mandy's chat in forever because I think I'm blocked on that channel for some reason. I know I was de-wrenched when she came back. So I. it's not like I'm lurking around, holding on to things, trying to project anything out. I'm just trying to make my comics, do my streams, you know? So I'm back. Welcome back. Well, aren't you, wait, uh, John, are you and Phil going to meet up this uh, weekend at, uh, or in a couple weekends in Chicago? Two uh, weeks. I'm going to be there. I mean, I don't know. I will also be there. Go play some video games at his uh, arcade in, in, in the middle of the, of the convention. Come on. What's your favorite arcade game, John? Um, hmm, Asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, classic. Uh, Very old. No, I don't know. Probably, uh, I don't know. That X Men game was fun. I liked all those little fighting games. Yeah, we'll bring some X Men uh, fighters yeah. for you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll have a ticket, so I'll find wherever that spot is. I'm sure one way or Cecil, another. Cecil, are you or are you not coming? I am not coming. What? <laughs> oh, did you let? Did you let Shane know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. You texted me you were coming. I know, but John said the fan meetup was on Thursday and my tickets were for Friday. So I was like, uh, and then John was like, he meant Saturday. Why would I meet fans on Thursday? No one's I, even there till Friday. Do you, do you want me to bring up the, the, the thing? You, you I understand it. that. But uh, again, like, it doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you just like, you know, say, hey, Thursday, you mean Friday, Saturday? <laughs> I, I don't know. I took Why would I meet fans on Thursday? I don't know. It's not don't open. Know. It's not even open to the public on Thursday. You said you're going to go to a ball game and do a fan meetup on Thursday, and I was like, and then yeah. and then and then Shane was only going to stay one night, and then I was going to, you know, you guys were going to pay for my room. That's another thing. I felt bad since everything fell apart. I didn't want that hmm. to happen, so. I, I just canceled my flight when I saw the meetup was Thursday, and then the next day you were like. Oh no! It, I meant Saturday when I wrote Thursday, and I was like, "Cecil, right. you come, come out anyways. You could stay at my place like we did last year. We only got one bed, but you're not that big of a guy, you know." I'm bigger than I was last year. So. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Do a reprise of Total Eclipse of the Heart. No, that's a one time only. I don't want to. We have 1,200 people. We'll have 200 people watching if I do that again. Uh, AJR says, new idea for Cecil Podgrab. Uh, podcast Cecil Gate. Uh, I'm sorry, Cecil Gate Comics Gate Court. Uh, I judge not, lest I be judged. Uh, Damius Octavius says Dale is not used to internet culture, so he is susceptible to rumors sent to him from everywhere, including bad actors and not knowing what to trust. Okay. Ravine says Ravine twenty one twelve says Mandy is my sweetheart. She doesn't talk shit, doesn't do drama. She is my queen. Hey girl, how are you? Two hundred watt studio says I just want to say that if the Earth explodes tomorrow, that this was the best eclipse ever. I think it really was. Uh yeah. This was we're about two hours into the eclipse spectacular, and I just want to thank all of you for making this eclipse spectacular. Uh, you made up for the fact that the sky never got dark here, that the sky stayed bright blue, and I never even, it wasn't even like a cloudy day. It was the most bullshit eclipse of all time, the most overhyped piece of shit of all time, and you guys made this bearable, and I'm glad uh, you guys were able to air out things out, and hopefully everybody can get into a feeling of like, uh, you know, maybe... It uh, got darker here. I'm not even in the path. Yeah, it, you. I was outside. I showed you how it was. It was sunny. Yeah. It's John, that's the Detroit fog covering the sun. It could have been. It could have been. It never. That's why I said. I said it looked like a just like a real overcast. You know, because I I don't have a direct view. I have an indirect view. But yeah, now it's nice and bright. I can see bright sun. You guys made me late for my dentist appointment. Sorry. About uh, I blame Dale. Uh, Russell Hall says there's only one way to settle this slap fight. All right. On that note, uh, Phil, enjoy your, uh, your dental, uh, appointment and, uh, fulfilling, uh, lost pages three. Mandy, anything you want to promote? Um, yes, you guys can go check out super dead over on Indiegogo. Also, I have added some hats and t-shirts over on comics Avalon that you guys can get. And I'm getting really, really close to shutting down gym shocks. So if you haven't checked that out yet. Please go do it because I'm just about done with fulfillment on the book I'm working on now, and I'm going straight to Gymshark. And when I do that, I'm going to be shutting that campaign down to do fulfillment. So go check it out, you guys, and thanks. John, anything you want to? Uh... Um. Oh, uh, Godlike should be arriving this this week, so yep. books should begin going out next week. Very excited! Very excited! I got all the prints and cards here. It's great. Cash grab, people are getting it. The only thing only thing holding up right now is the hats. The hats got a little delayed from China. I, I don't know where they're from, actually. I'm just guessing it's from China. All right, I guess so, guys. All right, yeah. take care, Phil. Bye, uh, John. Bye, Mandy. Thank you all for being here. This was a, uh, a memorable eclipse. And uh, I thought he'd never leave. Um, Yay. Oh, I got to go uh, visit my sister. Okay, so, guys. All right. All right. Thanks, one, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody in the chat. Thanks for joining me for this Eclipse special. We'll be back with a, another full out brawl for the next Eclipse. I promise you. God damn. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.